Polycystic ovary syndrome, also called PCOS or PCOD, is a common hormonal disorder that affects women of reproductive age. It usually begins during adolescence, but its symptoms can vary over time and continue even after menopause. PCOS is characterized by hormonal imbalances, irregular menstrual cycles, elevated androgen levels, and the presence of small cysts on the ovaries. These hormonal disturbances can disrupt the normal development of follicles, which are small sacs containing eggs in the ovaries. As a result, these follicles can transform into tiny cysts. When follicular development is impaired, ovulation may be affected, resulting in irregular or absent periods and difficulties in releasing eggs. This disruption in ovulation can lead to infertility, making PCOS a significant cause of infertility. Additionally, women with PCOS often have higher levels of testosterone, a hormone typically associated with males. The cause of PCOS remains unknown, but women with a family history of the type 2 diabetes are at a higher risk. In most cases, PCOS develops due to a genetic predisposition combined with other risk factors, such as obesity, diabetes, and adrenal gland issues. While a genetic predisposition to PCOS cannot be prevented, lifestyle changes can improve symptoms and reduce the risk of complications associated with the condition. We have gathered few lifestyle adjustment tips for you today that might help you to prevent PCOS or to improve their symptoms if you have them. Number one, improve your diet. Eating the right foods and avoiding certain ingredients can help manage PCOS symptoms. A nutritious diet can regulate hormones and the menstrual cycle. Reducing overall caloric intake can promote weight loss. Foods with a low glycemic index are digested slowly, preventing rapid insulin spikes. Opt for low glycemic index carbohydrates, such as whole grains, nuts, seeds, and starchy vegetables like beans, potatoes, and corn. Incorporate healthy fats from sources like avocados, nuts, and olive oil, while minimizing saturated fats. High-fiber foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains support gut health and promote satiety. Scientists often refers PCOS as low-level chronic inflammation, so including omega-3 fats or anti-inflammatory foods like olive oil, tomatoes, leafy greens, nuts, fatty fish, and probiotics can ease your symptoms. For some individuals, a ketogenic diet, which restricts carbohydrates and emphasizes plant-based fats, may offer additional benefits for weight loss and hormonal balance. Caffeine consumption may be linked to changes in estrogen levels and hormone behavior. To manage energy levels, consider decaf alternatives like herbal tea or green tea, which have been shown to improve insulin resistance and reduce inflammation. Green tea can also aid in weight management for women with PCOS. Avoid processed and packaged foods as they contain additives or preservatives which can alter your hormonal balance and increase your risk of PCOS and its symptoms. Number two, exercise regularly. Exercise is an effective approach for managing PCOS. Physical training improves insulin sensitivity by enhancing glucose transport and metabolism. Engage in regular exercise, such as walking, running, cycling, or swimming to help maintain a healthy weight and improve insulin sensitivity. Both aerobic exercise and resistance training improve insulin sensitivity and androgen levels in women with PCOS. Incorporate strength training exercises to build muscle mass, which can help with metabolism and insulin resistance. Number three, manage your weight. Losing weight can be highly effective in managing PCOS symptoms. Even a modest weight loss of five to 10% of body weight can significantly improve symptoms or help prevent PCOS. For those who are overweight, some studies suggest that gradual weight loss through a low-calorie diet can be a promising first-line treatment for PCOS. Managing weight can also help regulate the menstrual cycle. Number four, avoid endocrine disruptors. Endocrine or hormone disruptors are chemicals that interfere or block the body's natural hormonal functions. Some of these disruptors mimic female and male sex hormones, leading to confusion in the reproductive system. This interference can increase the risk of developing PCOS and exacerbate its symptoms. To avoid these substances, it's important to be aware of where they are commonly found and take steps to minimize exposure. They are often found in canned foods, soaps, and makeup. Some common endocrine disruptors include plastics, dioxins, phthalates, pesticides, BPA or bisphenol A, and glycol ethers. Be mindful of the things you are using on a daily basis. Adopt a habit of reading the ingredient list. Number five, consider acupuncture. Acupuncture for PCOS has been associated with lower levels of luteinizing hormone and testosterone and the restoration of menstrual cycles. 
Multiple studies indicate that acupuncture positively affects sympathetic function of ovary by reducing cortisol or stress hormone level, enhancing ovarian blood flow, and improving insulin sensitivity. While research shows that acupuncture can improve menstrual regularity, it has not demonstrated significant increases in live birth, pregnancy, or ovulation rates. Number six, reduce stress. Stress can significantly impact polycystic ovary syndrome and exacerbate its symptoms through various physiological mechanisms. Chronic stress leads to increased levels of cortisol, a stress hormone which can exacerbate insulin resistance and contribute to weight gain, both common in PCOS. Stress can also increase the production of androgens or male hormones such as testosterone, which can worsen symptoms like hirsutism or excessive hair growth, acne, and irregular menstrual cycles. Practice stress management techniques such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, or other relaxation methods. Ensure you get enough restful sleep, as poor sleep can affect hormone levels and overall health. To conclude, we can say polycystic ovary syndrome is a complex condition with no cure, but there are evidence-based strategies for long-term management and prevention. Each person's experience with PCOS is unique, so it's crucial to work closely with healthcare professionals to tailor these strategies to individual needs. With dedication and a positive outlook, lasting relief is achievable. Being diagnosed with PCOS does not mean you are destined for poor health. There is much you can do to take control, minimize symptoms, and maintain your health. By adopting lifestyle changes like maintaining an improved diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight, avoiding toxins, considering acupuncture, and other healthy habits such as getting plenty of sleep and managing stress can help control PCOS symptoms, reduce the risk of chronic diseases, and enhance overall well-being. So, when was the last time you had your hormone levels tested? Subscribe and stay with us for a continuous stream of expert advice to elevate your daily living and embark on a path to a healthier you.